This is your weekly rundown of Season 23, Week 1, Season of the Wish. So for Week 1 to Legacy rotation, these could be subject to change if Bungie restarts their order, but they should continue in the same order that they have done for the last few seasons. The Dreaming City this week is at a strong curse level, which means Spectre Revenge can be found in Rio Silvia and has the Dark Monastery mission for the next week. The Blind World features taken enemies and the plague, Ina Mina. The Ascendant Challenge this week will be the Keep of Owned Edges, which can be located over in the Harbinger Seclude. On the Moon, the weekly story mission is in the Deep. The Trove Guardian is located in the Hellmouth, while the Wandering Nightmare is the Nightmare of Horkis in the Anchor of Light. Nightmare hunts Fogoth, Fear, Ghoul, Rage, and Tanix Isolation. On Europa this week, Praxis the Technocrat will be the Empire Hunt, Cadmus Ridge will be the Eclipse Zone, and the Exo Challenge will be Safeguard. Dares of Eternity Legendary Rounds are Hive, Vex, and Valister Arc. The Scatterhorn Armor Set and the Pathfind Armor Set will be available in Dares of Eternity with Weapon Set 4. Fracture This, Quasura Milo, Volk Picula, Wolf Tone Draw, Iotona Draconis, Canus Major, Contingency Plan, Legal Action 2, Outrageous Fortune, Still Syllabus C14, and Spoiler Alert. The Witch Queen Weekly Story Mission is The Communion, Altar of Reflections Catalyst, and Altar of Reflections Insight. The Lightfall Weekly Mission is Desperate Measures, Partition Mission will be Hard Reset, and the Vex Incursion this week will be Liming Harbour. The Crota's End Raid Challenge this week is the third encounter, Ear Ute, the Death Singer, called Equal Vessel. The Root of Nightmares Raid Challenge this week is the fourth encounter, Nezarek, called All Hands. The King's Fall Raid Challenge this week is the third encounter, Golgoroth, called Gaze Amaze. The Vow the Disciple Challenge this week is the first encounter, Acquisition, called Swift Destruction. The Vault of Glass Challenge this week is the fourth encounter, Gatekeeper, called Strangers in Time. The Deep Stone Crypt Challenge this week is the third encounter, Tanix Part 1, called Of All Trades. And the Garden of Salvation Challenge this week is the third encounter, Consecrated Mind, called Staying Alive. Your Pinnacle Raid will be the last wish over on the Dreaming City, which means all challenges will be available for each encounter, with the Exotic Fusion Rifle 1000 Voices being farmable from the final boss. The Pinnacle Dungeon will be the duality over on the Derelict Leviathan on the Moon, and the Exotic Mission Rotator will be Operation Seraph Shield, with the Revision Zero Exotic Pulse Rifle being the main reward. The Season of the Seraphs Weapon Set and Icolos Weapon Set with the Warmind's Avatar Armor Set. Unfortunately, as this is a new season, the challenges won't be available until the season the Wish goes live in-game. Also, with this being a new season, we will have a legendary Lost Sector shakeup, meaning we won't know the order of the Lost Sectors until we've had a full rotation. But, this season we'll see the introduction of Gunsmith Engrams, as well as the selection of Foundry weapons for completing Legend and Master Lost Sectors while solo, with Legend being a 70% chance to Master being 100%, assuming the Guardian is thorough enough to leave no champion standing. Thorough completions on Master difficulty will also have the advantage of weapons dropping an additional perk in either the 3rd or 4th column. The weapons available from the Lost Sectors are grouped into 4 weapons per day over 4 days, and after the 4th day the cycle repeats back to the first set. Our first featured Nightfall of the season will see us face off against Urinath, Light Cleanser in the Psyops Battlegrounds Cosmodrome. Lord Shaxx brings Checkmate Control to the Crucible 6v6 playlist for the first week of the season, Rift in the Party Relentless playlist, and Elimination in the 3v3 playlist with Trials of Osiris at the weekend. And that's it for the first week of Season of the Wish. Thank you for watching. Allons-y!